Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're here for TEE Brazil, a team event, first team event for us for Team TF10. You can see we're currently on our second lap in Q3 and quality up to this point was absolutely perfect. Didn't have an insane amount of practice but Brazil just felt good on this game which is why I'm quite sad I'm missing it in WR. Uh, but yeah up to the line as you can see we go provisional P1. The 106.729 and then we had one lap to nail 30 seconds left let's go through this last lap in q3 break as astroturf ends fourth gear clip the left hand side curve cut all of the right use all of the uh, curve on exit and then we're a tenth up almost i knew this was peak sector one it's going to be a 0 0.605 through turn four Miss the inside curb a bit and run a bit wide, but it's still very, very, very strong. Um, heading into the technical bit now, into the right hand or flat out uh, almost, and then break down the third gear. You can see Thomas improves, so I have to improve if I want to start on pole position. Through one of the airpins we go, then heading into the next one. This is looking like a very, very, very solid lap. PB heading into this, I think was a 0.57 or 0.58 the session before, pretty much. Um, and you can see it's a 0 0.04 split, which is insane. Never had that. And you can see, I look at the Delta, I'm already shocked. You can see I'm already uh, smiling because it's just straight to the line. Bit less battery, but up to the line, it's going to be a 0.4, which was just huge. And guaranteed us pole, as you can see, by two tons. So that was very, very, very good as we now head into the race. As we're going to have five red lights here at Brazil, into Lagos, and we are underway. And we get a very poor start. Not really a clean start. Thomas gets his nose to the inside, but we're able to defend through turn two, um, which is good. And then from here, we literally just had to settle into a rhythm. Our teammate TS Korsman was in P6, our uh, qualified P6, so his goal was just to get... Uh, towards the front and me maintaining my position at the front which is exactly uh, what's about to happen as you'll see I'm just settling into the rhythm not making any mistakes not getting any warnings and yeah that's pretty much how most of my rent uh, most of my race went quite a boring race um, not gonna lie as you're about to see we're gonna skip I think all the way to my pit stop if I remember correctly when editing uh, actually no never mind end of lap lap two that was Thomas got passed and then two corners later I didn't want to go for this move but look what happens here Thomas gets the move gets the lead but he spins out and that's a TES driver gone so yeah then we jump to the end of lap 10 I think this is or 11 we come into the pit lane for our pit stop medium to hards optimal turn in and yeah the hards were just so much better um then the mediums, mediums were gone after about 8 to 9 laps. Bit of a slide there, but it's all fine out of the pit lane then. Next lap round, Tia's pit, and he was already in P2 at this point. So you can see he rejoins behind us in our DRS. And then, yeah, literally the next 20 laps, this is I think lap 12 or 13. Next 20 laps, we literally just manage uh, the 1 2, swapping back and forth and just creating gaps to not let anyone else go you can see that Keanu got past momentarily but not for long as we wanted to hold the one two and yeah basically always in the middle sector we created a gap to the car in front and then Isaac behind even if he were to drain his battery I could drain my battery too and had a big enough gap to tee us in front to hold the one two uh, so that's exactly what we did as you're about to see that's basically what we did 20 laps uh, back and forth and then this was on a penultimate lap heading on to the last lap I wanted to take the lead here um, to swap the cars which is exactly what I did go up the inside of TS and I take the lead into turn one but then out of turn three this is where the chaos happens there was some argument on Twitter um, won't name won't name any names but TS here closes up and then lifts which lets the Merc get up the inside and then Tia sticks his nose into making it three wide pushing both of us off 
So after looking at his own board, I must say, um, um, I understand we didn't get a well, get I understand the Merc didn't get a penalty because he lifted and basically gave him a free invite to send up the inside. So unfortunate that um, our win or our P2 1 2 is basically robbed. Don't really think it's my fault. I could have stayed behind, um, but yeah, I don't think even if I. I went past, so that's just how it is. And then he still lifted, so... Still gained plenty of points on TES, as you can see out of the last corner. We're not gonna get Keanu on that lap, which is unfortunate, because it could have been a 1-2. Drove pretty much a perfect quality and race uh, for that. But yeah, 1-4 is still very, very good. And TES didn't really have a good day in the office. So you can see... Uh gained I think about like 40 points on them overtook them as well in the championship which is the most important part so I hope you guys enjoy this quick video on the TE Brazil highlights from the past Wednesday if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and until next time from me it's take care and goodbye